at the end of the day, your value to your teammates, to your company, to your clients as a data analyst is determined by your tool belt. Uh, if the limit of all you can do to analyze data is pop some data into a spreadsheet and do some counting, um, obviously in most cases, that's really valuable and helpful. Uh, but if you're trying to do uh, kind of statistical analysis or fancier analysis across a number of different sites or clients or platforms or whatever it is like we're doing here, uh, you'll be, you're super limited by your tool belt. That's why DBT, which is what we're going to learn in this section, has been super critical to our growth at Coding is for Losers and is super critical for you learning how to build your own data pipeline. Uh, basically, what DBT does is allows you to transform your raw data that we pushed up to BigQuery in the last section up to uh, calculated metrics and kind of like an end data source that you'll use for your visualizations. So it basically allows you to answer all the questions that you have about your data in a super scalable, standardized, and rigorous way. Um, the main reason that it's rigorous is it brings a kind of software development workflow to data modeling. You know, before I think everyone had their own way of writing some random SQL queries, maybe you store them in like a notebook file and run them, use some scripts to run them, you know, randomly. Everyone is kind of doing this in their own way. Uh, but what DBT came in and did, and thanks to Tristan and the team at uh, Fishtown Analytics that built and maintained DBT, um, and it's free, you know, completely free to use, uh, they basically came in and, and said, okay, let's use GitHub for managing our SQL models, and let's do it in a standardized way. So you have a folder structure, uh, where you build all your models, and each of these models in here um, is a simple SQL query. And what these queries translate to is tables or views in your database. You know, and you can use any database with DBT. You can use or most, you know, Redshift, BigQuery, a Postgres database. We'll be using BigQuery, but if you want to explore those other databases or use them at work, DBT will work for you too. So the bottom line is DBT is a very powerful tool and has been transformative for us internally at Coding is for Losers, uh, has allowed us to do much more valuable work. Uh, I guarantee you if you stick this section out and the rest of the course out um, and learn how to use DBT, it will absolutely transform uh, the work that you're doing there um, and transform your value to whatever project you're working on with data going forward. So this will be tough, especially if you're newer to SQL. Ultimately, DBT is just writing SQL models. But uh, stick with it because it will absolutely be transformative to uh, the type of work that you can do.